There's no need for a large impact screen and a projector with this setup. Make your own UPVC frame with some sports netting attached and make use of an old or cheap TV connected to your computer as a larger screen monitor. I love this simple yet elegant setup. The Net Return Home series might set you back a few hundred pounds or dollars, but it's a trustworthy and reliable piece of kit. It also looks great, especially in a nice room like this. Hello everyone, welcome to Handicap Golf. I hope this video is giving you some inspiration to set up your own golf simulator room on a budget. If you like any of the items that you see throughout this video, I've listed links to as many as I possibly can in the description below. And also, if you're interested in more golf simulator related content, don't forget to subscribe to the Handicap Golf channel. Enjoy. Instead of using an expensive impact screen specifically designed for golf simulators, make use of an old bed sheet for your screen. Just be sure to double it over and put a mattress protector or duvet behind it to help absorb the impact. Also, use a 3-in-1 hitting mat which you can pick up for about £30 to £45 pounds on Amazon. Another simple yet effective setup making use of a relatively tight space. You don't need a fancy widescreen impact screen. A square one does just the same job attached to a thin but sturdy frame. Add a little bit of side netting for those stray shanks and away you go. A cheap green carpet can also give the same impression as the more expensive artificial turf. Heavy duty tarpaulin is a popular choice for some cheap simulator builds. It helps keep light levels low if you're using a projector and can be quite reliable for any stray shots that don't find your impact screen. Here we have a little more tarpaulin being used as side protection to a screen and it's all connected to a DIY wooden frame which is cheaper to build than buying metal conduit or UPVC piping. Now this is cool, an outdoor space that has been weatherproofed using some heavy duty tarpaulin, an iPad connects to a projector for the big screen experience and even a DIY golf club holder. So no need to search for your clubs in your bag each shot. Here's another outdoor space that has been weatherproofed. Black tarpaulin not only reduces light level to help with projection, but provides a nice windbreaker as well for an outdoor setup. I will say though that it can make things a bit noisy and if it's not connected to something that's in the ground, there's a risk of your whole setup being blown away. Trust me, it's happened to me. Another great use of some tight space. Use a professional net to give yourself peace of mind that even smashing your driver at 120 miles per hour won't burst through and break whatever lies behind it. A small bit of artificial turf in front of the net is an ideal landing zone for your golf ball to stop it from bouncing away on the concrete floor after every shot. A fine example of only needing the essentials here. Launch monitor connected to the iPad, projector and a TV to watch the PGA Tour as you work away on your swing. No fancy flooring, just an old curtain for some side protection. They've even built their own DIY hitting mat. There's plenty of space available here, so a large metal conduit frame is surrounded by heavy duty white netting with an impact screen to display your projected image. A putting mat and some nice artificial turf make the whole setup look much more professional. Another fine example of making use of limited space. If you've got a spare room in your house, all you need is a net, a launch monitor and a mat to hit off and away you go. Decorate and add all the bells and whistles over time. Combine your home gym with a golf room. The black floor tiles found in most gyms are great for absorbing the impact of a golf ball after it lands and they can be picked up for relatively cheap. So all you need here is a net stretched across each side of the room and something to hit off and away you go. A metal conduit frame provides a great sturdy base for your golf net and they aren't as expensive to buy as you might think if you go down the DIY route. Get yourself some net in to go around it and you'll be hitting golf balls in the comfort of your own home before you know it. You can pick up this spawnier pop-up golf net for less than £200. Another professional quality net and you can also buy it in a package with the hitting mat. Pop it up wherever you have enough space to swing a golf club. 
This metal conduit cage provides plenty of space and paired with a hitting mat and a screen, it's all you need to work on your swing. There's no need for a fancy setup just to get you started. I really like this idea to save yourself some money. Instead of buying an impact screen, get a high quality practice net and if you're brave enough, stick a TV on the wall just behind it. It will give you the same effect as a projector and large screen, but just a little bit smaller. This is a similar idea, but for those that are not quite as brave, stick your TV on the side wall instead of directly behind your net. Another setup with the TV on the side wall. Pop a net up in your garage and make some practical use of that space that is otherwise just being wasted. Now this is a lovely garage setup with a cheap 3-in-1 hitting mat, cheap green carpet and a net attached to a simple PVC frame. This setup is a brilliant amateur golf studio setup with all the essentials and some added extras to work on your game, including a smash bag, alignment sticks and a chipping net. I really like this outdoor shelter setup with a large hitting surface, wind brakes and even a projector mounted to display an image on your impact screen. No frills, but highly effective. Finally, I wanted to include this great outdoor setup. If you're lucky enough to live in a climate that doesn't get much rain, then why not set up outside? Use a TV as your screen and make use of that extra space. There's even some putting turf with two holes. Amazing. If you've made it this far into the video, then I guess you're pretty interested in setting up your own golf simulator room. Now this room right here is in my garage here in the UK and it's my personal golf simulator room. Now if you're interested in finding out how much this room has cost me to build then head over to the Handicap Golf channel and click that subscribe button because soon I'm going to be hosting a live stream explaining exactly how much this whole setup has cost me. For those of you that are interested in building your own uh, frame or simulator enclosure, then check out the link in the description below. It's a link to a website called Gung Ho Golf and it gives you a dead easy step-by-step -step guide about how to build your own golf simulator frame. Thank you very much for tuning in guys. If you've enjoyed this video and it's given you some ideas, please click that like button. And like I said, head over to the Handicap Golf channel and subscribe for more golf simulator related content. Thanks for watching.